Hi YouTube, welcome to this video where I'll show you how to back up your MetaMask wallet in case you ever lose your computer. When you create your account, it gives you an opportunity to get your backup security phrase, but you could also access it from your settings. Go to privacy and security. I'm not actually gonna use this MetaMask wallet, so I don't mind if you guys see the phrase, but make sure when you do this, that nobody sees it. You should write this down on a piece of paper and store it somewhere very safe, like a security deposit box or some safe. Or you could split it up into multiple different pages and have half of it in a security deposit box and then another half in a safe or whatever you think is a good security measure. But again, if anybody has this, uh, these passwords, then they pretty much have full access to your account. So this is my backup security phrase for my test MetaMask account that I'll never use. Again, make sure nobody sees yours. If they do, they basically own your account. And don't lose it because if you do, nobody can help you, not even MetaMask, to back up your account in case you ever lose access to your computer. So one minute here while I write this down. Okay, I just wrote that down. Before I do that, I want to show you one more thing. So assume you have a whole bunch of accounts. I'll just create a couple here. When I back up this MetaMask wallet, it will only show the first one. Um, so don't worry about that. We'll, we'll make sure that these ones are backed up as well. So this one's OXDD and OX60. Now I'll remove from Chrome to reinstall it. Now I'm installing it again. And this is where you can import your wallet. All you do is you type in the 12 words that you just wrote down to back up your account. I'll do that right now. I just typed in the 12 words that I wrote down and a new password. There we go. But my other accounts aren't there, so where did they go? Well, they're actually there, but when MetaMask loads your accounts, it stops once it gets to the first account that has a zero balance. So what you do is you just click create account and then there's that wallet again, the OXDD and then I'll do it again and the third wallet shows up, the OX60. When I was doing this on my own account, backing up my uh, real account, I got pretty scared because um, my other accounts weren't showing up which were the ones that actually had funds in it. So I. I figured it was safe, but I just was a little bit worried about why I couldn't see it. But yeah, just after a quick Google search, I saw that you have to add them back in order and MetaMask will stop once it hits an account that has a zero balance. So um, just keep that in mind when you're uploading it. And that's pretty much it. Just make sure that you have those security words safe because those are passwords to your account. Anybody who has those owns your account technically. And if you don't have that and you don't have access to your wallet, then you don't own your account either. So be safe as no third party is holding access to your funds. It's all in your hands. It's not in the governments or a bank or Binance or any central uh, centralized exchange. And this is just a big step you got to take to make sure that your, your funds are safe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and make sure to check out the other videos.